I'm Eric Olson from Olson's Honey, and uh, uh, we're a large commercial bee operation here in Yakima. I gave a presentation during the Hort uh, Association um, show, and uh, a lot of questions uh, came up from growers uh, concerning bees and how to go about uh, pollination and bees. And uh, so this is just to kind of answer some of those questions. Uh, uh, pollination is, uh, there is really no mystery. Uh, um, you have so many blossoms that need to be visited so many times, and you have so many bodies to do that, and you have this amount of time to do it. So if you can quantify all those numbers, and we demonstrated that colony strength is one of the biggest things that uh, determines pollination. Uh, a uh, 12 frame hive versus a 6 frame hive. And the 6 frame hive is virtually useless in our uh, um, weather conditions in the state of Washington. Uh, um, the difference in the two hives, a good strength, good strong 12 frame hive will have 36,000 bees, where a 6 frame hive that's struggling to make it might have 6,000 bees. And you can take the numbers from there. Uh, we covered in that that uh, half of the bees are uh, house bees. They don't leave the house. They, uh, well, after they hatch, they finish their physical development, and they uh, take care of the queen, and they feed the brood, and they keep the house warm. And uh, so about 50% of a, of a big hive of 36,000 bees are always in the house. They never leave. Uh, that's 18,000 bees that stay there. Uh, contrasted with a six frame hive where there's about 6,000 bees, they have to keep the brood, the babies warm, and so it takes more like 80% of those bees to, uh, to be in the uh, hive. So you can see what a dramatic difference there is in that. Um, based on the numbers we gave, uh, um, you need about 516,000 visits per acre for for a pollination um, of a good crop. And uh, so it would take 189 days for one six frame hive to pollinate uh, the orchard, and obviously that doesn't work. Uh, so, so the message here is make sure you got good bees, make sure that they're good strong hives if you want to get pollinated. And many of the other questions that came in concern bee placement. Um, be placement in your orchard. Uh, many people like to get one pallet here and move and another pallet there and another pallet there. The most important thing for placing bees is that they be in the sunshine. Don't ever uh, block them up. One question that came up was windbreaks. <coughs> I think windbreaks are a waste of time uh, because too often people will put windbreaks up for the hives and they'll block the sun. The number one thing with bees is put them where there's sunshine, where they're open, their entrances are open, and, and they can fly. Many places I see people put bins out, and the beekeeper comes along and he puts the pallet on with the hives on one end of the pallet smack into a tree. Well, that's crazy because what happens, the field bees leave those hives that are into the trees but they can't get back in there because they're obstructed, so they drift to the other hives. And then the hives that are pointing right into the tree have absolutely no pollination value whatsoever. Plus, when the beekeeper gets them back, those hives are really diminished because of that. So critically important, sunshine and openness of the entrances. And uh, uh, as far as the windbreaks go, if, if you use windbreaks, for gosh sakes, don't block the sun. That's the most important thing. And I'll tell you what, these little turkeys, they're smart. You might get them out of the hive by using a windbreak, but as soon as they pop up out from behind that windbreak, the bees can overcome about 10 mile per hour wind. And anything other than that, they can't. So you coax this little girl out of the hive by your windbreak, and she got up here, whoa, what is this? She goes right back to the hive. So basically, my opinion is windbreaks are a waste of effort. One of the other questions was water. Water is critically important. If you've got a sprinkler valve that's leaking a little bit, that's the most favorite place bees go. And that's why farmers hate it, because they got a 
manipulate that valve and it's loaded with bees all the time. Uh, some farmers go and put buckets out and they put uh, burlap in them. You want to sh be sure to put something in so the bees can get in there and they don't drown. But the other thing to remember is it's got to be fresh water. Too many farmers will put a bucket of water out there at the beginning of the season and never change it. And that's dynamite. You've got to have fresh water. So if you're using the bucket deal, you've got to go back out there and dump that sour water and put fresh water in it. So the best thing is if you can let water run on the ground, mud. Bees love to get water out of mud and, and things of that nature. So, uh, uh, and you don't have to spread the bees out like many farmers do. A lot of farmers think the bees crawl to the blossoms. God gave them wings to fly, and they do fly. So what I advocate is that, uh, you know, if you've got a large orchard, don't put them all in one place. If you've got a road down the center of your orchard, I love that. That is awesome. Another question that came up was putting them on bins. If you use frost water, you definitely need to get the bees up to where you don't soak them down. If you have a marginally marginal pollination day, your bees will come out and fly. But if you soak them down with water, those hives are saturated with water, and that evaporates off all day long, and you won't get any bee flight at all. So critical not to water the beehives. Don't wet that wood down. And uh, uh, so I actually advocate, I use bins myself, and uh, I think it's good get them up off of the ground where it's a little bit warmer and keep them dry. Those are critical elements uh, also for uh, bee placement. And uh, just remember the best thing is to get a good beekeeper that you can trust and then make sure he's doing what you want. My opinion is the minimum hive strength, minimum, should be 10 frames of bees. And that's what we guarantee. I don't give them all 10 framers. We try and do better than 10 framers. And um, so that's about it.